Good day, everyone. My name is Maya Afua Phillips, and I am presenting on the National Food Control System in Guyana, Evaluation of the Current Regulatory Framework for Food Control Systems. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations and the World Health Organization, a well-functioning national food control system protects public health and consumers, increases a nation's food security, and builds international credibility. Al-Kandari and Dukes 2012 described three major types of organizational arrangements for food control systems. The single agency system where a single authority is responsible for food along the entire farm to table continuum. The multiple agency system where multiple agencies are responsible for different aspects of food control and the integrated system where a single authority is responsible for formulating policy, laws, regulations, and standards, while other functions such as inspection and enforcement are carried out by multiple agencies. The research objectives were to determine the agencies involved in food control in Guyana, the overlaps in their responsibilities, the gaps in the food control system, and the weaknesses in the current regulatory framework. The food laws and regulations of Guyana were evaluated using a qualitative study design. Data was collected from primary and secondary sources. Primary data sources included 16 interviews with key stakeholders to gather information on the regulatory organizations responsible for food control in Guyana, the existing food legislation, regulations, and standards, and the level of cooperation between agencies. Secondary data sources included Acts of Parliament and archival policy organizational and legislative documents. During the interviews, handwritten notes were made of key points and stakeholders were asked to confirm whether the points written by the author were accurate representations. These points were further investigated using archival documents and the information was presented according to three teams, gaps, overlaps, and weaknesses. The National Food Control System in Guyana is a fragmented multiple agency system. Agencies involved in food control in Guyana. The responsibility for food control in Guyana is shared across six ministries of government. The Ministry of Public Health, Agriculture, Business, Finance, Communities, and the Presidency. However, the Ministries of Public Health and Agriculture house the main governmental agencies involved in food control. Overlaps in Responsibilities Major overlaps exist in the laboratory infrastructure, the fish industry, and the meat industry. I will focus on the overlaps in the fish industry. The 2018 United States Fish Ban is a good example of how overlaps in responsibilities can negatively affect Guyana's economic development. The Fisheries Department of the Ministry of Agriculture and the Veterinary Public Health Unit, the VPHU, of the Ministry of Public Health share the inspectorate responsibility for fisheries in Guyana. The Fisheries Act of 2002 is a legal basis for the Fisheries Department to operate. However, 
the accompanying fisheries product regulations of 2003 guides the operation of the veterinary public health unit and makes the VPHU the competent authority for those regulations. In 2015, the Food Safety and Inspection Service, FSIS, of the United States notified the Fisheries Department of the need to improve Guyana's fish inspection system. Then, in 2018, the United States Department of Agriculture, the USDA, imposed a ban on Guyana's fisheries industry. Although the Fisheries Department of the Ministry of Agriculture was notified three years prior to the ban, it was ultimately the responsibility of the Veterinary Public Health Unit of the Ministry of Public Health to satisfy the U.S. requirements. In the end, Guyana lost a valuable market for catfish since the 2018 U.S. fish ban included the Gilbaca sea catfish, Hassa, and Karas. Gaps in the food control system. Budgetary constraints have weakened the national food control system in Guyana and perpetuated a skills gap. There is no database for sharing food control information between agencies. The current surveillance system for foodborne diseases results in slow outbreak detection and poor estimation of the country's foodborne disease burden. Documentation systems remain largely paper-based. National standards are not harmonized with international standards such as Codex Alimentarius and the World Organization for Animal Health, OIE, standards. Guyana lacks adequate quarantine facilities and there is no legal document stipulating quarantine requirements and Guyana lacks robust traceability systems for food and food products from farm to table. Weaknesses in the current regulatory framework. There are weak communication pathways between agencies and information shared usually occurs across informal channels of communication. It is recommended that agencies establish formal memoranda of understanding between them. Many agencies responsible for food control in Guyana lack the necessary trained personnel. It is recommended that Guyana's human resource capacity be expanded by training personnel in various aspects of food control and by employing food safety specialists. Guyana lacks a functional food authority. It is recommended that Guyana establishes a functional food authority and establish a ministry of food production. Additional recommendations include establishing a national policy for genetically modified foods, certifying public abattoirs, establishing quarantine facilities and regulations, developing baseline data for heavy metals, and improving laboratory infrastructure. In conclusion, the national food control system in Guyana is fragmented. This multiple agency system requires a lot of improvement. However, these improvements will ultimately build credibility in Guyana's national food control system. These were the references used for this presentation. This is the end of the presentation. I now invite you to email any questions you may have to either of the email addresses on your screen.